one of the things that I think is worth mentioning is, you know, there are receptors all over the body for vitamin D and mm -hmm. it includes the um, type two cells, which create surfactant. And you've, um, and so, you know, the, the issue of um, whether or not an infection gets from upper respiratory to down into the lung, that's when it, when it progresses from upper respiratory to lower respiratory, it's the lower respiratory infection that's um, associated with cytokine storm. And I think it's particularly important. So um, vitamin D has a tremendous effect on the local renin angiotensin um, system. So you've probably heard about ACE2 and so forth. And so vitamin D specifically affects um, surfactant production. This local uh, renin angiotensin um, system that um, is involved with fluid clearance. So you know if you get swelling in the lung tissue and the alveolar repair, which is basically the lung tissue repair. Um, and so all of these um, processes are affected by vitamin D and. Um, we see it in preterm infants, and we see it again. We're seeing this kind of effect in adults, and so it, it's a very consistent system. Um, and when you have vitamin D deficiency, that whole um, system is deranged. And I, I think it's worth commenting. But yeah, thank you for mentioning it with the vitamin D receptors, which is so important for the modulation of the cytokine cytokine storm expression uh, and, and toning that down with that NR, NRLP3 inflammasomes.